Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video series, we will be starting to learn about collections, utility in Java 8 and its method. In this video, we will discuss about a method named singleton list, which is a utility method in Java, which is part of collections class. Right? Many times there is a requirement when you are working in any project, there is a requirement that you require to have a certain list which is not changeable or not modifiable right so that goal we can achieve it with the help of singleton method so before we dive into correlating this particular methods usage with a real world example let's first look at its method collections method what are its member variables what is the method signature and what is its return type so moving back to my IntelliJ screen Let's open up class called collections. So collections is a public class which is part of java.utility package. Hence it is called as collections utility. And the topic for today video is singleton list okay so some theory around this method singleton list is a utility method that returns an immutable list now this keyword is very important immutability immutability means something which you cannot change once it is defined it is defined you cannot change the content of that particular object so the main purpose of this method is to create an immutable list which is not modifiable containing a single specific item hence singleton this is useful in certain scenarios where you need to create a list of one element and want to ensure that the list cannot be modified right many times in our business use case there is a requirement that we require a list of a single item which is not modifiable and a real world example which i can think of is an example of a shopping cart on an online store sometimes to explain it better there is a scenario where as a customer right, who wants to buy who wants to sorry buy one item right and the customer needs to represent this single item as a list but you don't want this list to be modified by accident obviously right when a person or a customer goes to an e-commerce portal and from there he adds some item to buy in his cart the item once it is added to the card it should not be modifiable by any external process right it cannot be modified by any external process like some web scraping application or some tool or by some other backend service or some other you know buggy code so in order to avoid that we can use a singleton list which will allow us to have immutable list once we have that immutability right you won't be able to modify that result or modify the cart item that we have added the scenario which i can look at one of the scenario is suppose we are handling a scenario where a discount coupon can only be applied to a single item purchase right we want to apply some discounts what that's my business need and that is where the customer is interested in this buying the product but let's suppose customer buys the item and adds it to the cart and for the moment he has added the cart before he applies the discount that list got modified by some external process which would be completely wrong right so in that case we will explicitly use this singleton list method right how so now the next question obviously you will ask me how do they achieve the immutability so if you look at the code the immutability is achieved with the help of a fixed size of value one right one and only one value and just a second So, sorry, uh, resuming back, 
yeah so how does this singleton class or a method maintains immutability right it's a very good question so it accepts or it does this by not returning a typical array list or a link list instead it returns an instance of a custom inner class that extends abstract list see we can see here it is extending to an abstract list and if you look at this abstract list implementation within the collections class see it has all the methods such as modification methods like remove replace sort all those are throwing unsupported exceptions see it has been implemented it has been overridden but it is not having an implementation it simply throws an exception uh, unsupported operation exception secondly there is a fixed size so if you look at this it returns always one right also the f element value is private final right the modifier and the accessory is final right and attempting to change its size by either adding or removing element is not allowed because the size element will always return one right it will always return the value of one so this is how this thing collections utility class ha has a singleton method which help which provide us immutable class now we'll try to implement this in our use case a real world example so let's suppose we have a class called shopping cart right it's a main method main thread and here we define a value a string value let's suppose singleton cart single cart item called as a laptop or macbook let's say So to make it immutable, what we can do is we can ex use the cart item collections. It will invoke the collection static method. Collection static. Just a second. Collection static class, right? And there would be singleton list right and then we pass a singleton single character item right this will return us a list of string which would be immutable now we have achieved the immutability we can safely work on applying discount to this cart item or the customer right For that, we can simply have a external service or maybe a method, a simple method within this stream called this apply discount, and it will accept a cart item, right? And let's define this, create this method with the help of IntelliJ, correct? See, we have an apply method which accepts a list of string, which will be immutable. The input that we pass will be immutable so since the list is immutable we know it's safe to apply obviously so what we'll do is we'll check the cart item the list its size is equals to one if it is equals to one we will system or print saying discount applied to this user discount applied item dot get index value one right and let's uh, have some sysprints in the main application item in cart equals to item cart item right that is it now let's test this index one is all right this should be zero correct because by default if you look at the internal working of linked list or the list uh, class it has index value starting from zero so that is the reason so here we were able to safeguard the application of discount 
on a given item with the help of singleton list using immutability so this is one of the scenarios that we can use a lot in uh, programming with java and uh, the collections uh, class or the collections api is rich with many methods many 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 methods you can take a look at these different different methods there are methods like singleton map even if you want to create a singleton map which is immutable we can use singleton map method which is unmodifiable then there are other methods which are number of copies so the collections api is very rich when it comes to java programming and that's it for this video if you have understood the topic hit the like button and uh, hopefully we'll create more such videos the will and we'll keep learning so to become good better java developers thank you